Welcome everyone to the midweek meditation, the first one following Easter Sunday. I hope that you all had a wonderful Easter Sunday. Now we're going to be looking at uh, some of the post-resurrection appearances of Jesus. The first one that I really like is the Road to Emmaus story. That's with two people uh, who uh, were with Jesus and his disciples, and they were in the upper room with them after Jesus' death hiding out. And some women came back and said, we went to the tomb and it's empty and an angel told us that Jesus is risen. And then some others went to the tomb and found that indeed Jesus was not there. But these two people, instead of hanging around with the others, they left and decided to walk home seven miles to Emmaus. And on the way, they were kind of lamenting about how Jesus was supposed to be the one who was going to redeem Israel and how that was what they had hoped for. That was what they were, that was their hopes and dreams and those were dashed and they were sad about that. And then a stranger meets them on the road and asks them what they're talking about. So they tell him and he says, wow, you know, and he opens up the scriptures to them and he tells them all about how Jesus fulfills all the prophets from the Old Testament and does what God has been saying for centuries, and how Jesus truly was the Messiah. And then they're amazed at this person's knowledge, so they ask that person into their home uh, to stay and have dinner with them and actually spend the night because the day was late and it was hospitality. You just didn't let us, a stranger that you had met uh, wander off into the night where all the bandits would get them. So they entered the house and they decided to, to have dinner and the person broke the bread and served the wine. And in that moment, it was revealed to them that that person was Jesus. And they were so excited that they actually hurried at night back to Jerusalem, to the upper room, so they could tell the others that Jesus had risen, only to be told that the others had already seen Jesus too because he had made an appearance in the upper room. It's such a great story, and I love it so much because the story is, in our moments where our dreams are dashed and, and, and what we hope for just doesn't come to pass, we know that Jesus walks with us. He's always with us, and he's there to provide us with hope and with healing and with comfort in our darkest moments, in the moments where our hopes and dreams are crushed. He's there. And he's there with us. He's revealed to us in the breaking of the bread. And that is something we all do. So Jesus is always with us. It's a story of hope. It's a story of healing. It's a story of comfort. And it's a story that we can always depend on him because he is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. And he always walks with you. Have a great week, everybody. God bless.